Trump just signaled that he will sign a $1.8 trillion stimulus package with hundreds of billions of dollars going out to American taxpayers and small businesses immediately. Will businesses finally get the $10,000 idle grants that they were promised? What about stimulus checks to the people? All this and more in today's video. Hello and welcome to Stephen Carlson Show. I'm Stephen Carlson. I'm a tech entrepreneur, real estate investor, author, YouTuber, and volunteer paramedic. Finally, we are almost there. I think we may possibly have a deal in the works before election. That is, if the political hacks in D.C. can focus on doing their jobs instead of just bad-mouthing the other guy. Well, never mind. One can hope, right? The past week has been one heck of a roller coaster for news stories. First, Trump sent out a tweet telling Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, make a deal. Then... Trump sent out another tweet saying, since Nancy refuses to negotiate in good faith, we have stopped all negotiations. Then, on Friday, a tweet came out about a big new deal coming. <laughs> if that wasn't enough, Pelosi and Mnuchin each penned their own letters blaming the other side for the failure to come up with an agreement. With all these ups and downs, what are we to believe? Depending on your political views about Trump, he has either been erratic and lost his mind, or he's using a brilliant negotiating strategy to force Nancy to come back to the table. Which do you think it is? Why don't you comment down below and tell me your thoughts. But before I get to today's video, please guys, I really need your help. In your comment down below, make sure that you use the hashtag Team Idol. That's one word, team. E-I-D-L, and share this video everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, text it to your friends, email the local news stations, blast your politicians. We need to get the word out. Make sure you tag your local elected officials in the posting, demanding that they finally do something about the complete cluster that they have created. Make it clear that we need our $10,000 stimulus grants for businesses that was offered to us and promised back in the CARES Act. And if they fail, you will vote them out in November. It doesn't matter what party they are in. The White House is signaling progress on a new round of coronavirus relief. The administration says President Trump has approved a revised package. And he wrote the following. He said, quote, COVID relief negotiations are moving along. Go big. I think this package is going to include what our White House asks have been with respect to airline assistance, to small business PPP assistance. Uh, probably, I can't swear to this, there'll be some backup for unemployment assistance. Exactly the things that I've argued will help the recovery. I have mixed feelings about which angle is technically better for the American people. Should we have one large massive bill or multiple smaller bills that are laser targeted towards specific problems that need addressing? Either way, I know that doing nothing is by far the worst option. And <laughs> doing nothing is exactly what the DC swamp is excellent at doing. Both the left and the right have been screwing around for the past six months. Neither side really cared about us. They only cared about making themselves look good to the voters and make the other side look bad. Colleagues, in a letter earlier today, she said, quote, clearly and sadly, the administration does not share this priority of crushing the virus. The president does not have the capacity, leadership, or plan for testing, tracing, and isolation that is needed. Instead, she writes, Trump's delay, denial, distortion of reality, and disdain for science has exacted a deadly and preventable human toll. We it is shameful. Ignoring politics for a minute, remember this is a finance channel, but I'll still cover how the election can affect your money in a few minutes. Anyways, like I was saying, putting politics aside, if Trump would just agree to Nancy's proposal, would that be good or would it be bad? Well, that is a bit of a complex issue. So first, let's look at the positives. Agreeing with the proposal would put more money in Americans' pockets. It would have continued the increased unemployment payouts and a second stimulus check for all taxpayers. Plus, there would be PPP, idle grants and loans for all small businesses. And we could see this in just a few weeks. 
All of this would go a very long way towards reducing the financial burden this pandemic has caused. It's not going to restore all of the economic losses people have endured, but at least it will help a little. On the downside, the national debt is ballooning out of control. Still, honestly, in my humble opinion, the deficit, while necessary in the long run, it's less of a concern today when you compare it juxtaposed to all small businesses in the nation going bankrupt. The increased debt is kind of a cost of doing business to save all of us from total collapse. With our low interest rates, the annual debt payment the federal government pays right now on its debt is actually less than last year before the pandemic stimulus funds started to be spent. So with this in mind, I think that we should have less concern about the overall debt right now and more concern about what it will actually take to bring this country back from the shutdown. We need to invest the money in what it will take to bring back our jobs, reopen our businesses, and keep people safe. All that will repay itself back in the long run. I think Jimmy said it very well in his recent video. Presidential executive order and not try to even negotiate with Nancy Pelosi, who at this point just basically seems like she wants to throw everything in the kitchen sink in there. But I also think it might be a good strategy for the president to basically just agree to Nancy Pelosi and just give her whatever she wants. If he does do that, that would be a good thing for Americans. Because honestly, the Democrats bill does pretty much have everything in the kitchen and the kitchen sink in there. There's stimulus checks of $1,200, $500 for all dependents. There's a $600 per week unemployment uh, boost extension all the way to January of 2021. I mean, that's pretty much the full benefit of what we've seen from unemployment updates. The Republicans only want $400 per week. But at this point, anything would be good. Both their plans have money for mortgage and rental assistance, which is a very interesting thing that has come about just in the last few weeks. Because before that, we really didn't have any mortgage and rental assistance in the form of stimulus. And that actually could be another stimulus check basically for you to pay your mortgage or to pay your rent. But we don't really have the full details of that yet because they haven't passed the bill. And at this point, I think that most of you guys would say it doesn't really matter if the Republicans or the Democrats bill passes. We just want a bill to pass. Let's pass either one of them. Let's get the stimulus checks out. Let's get the unemployment extension money out. Let's get this mortgage and rental assistance money out. Let's get the money for schools and all the other things that are in there, money for airlines to help you know over 50,000 people from not losing their jobs. There's a whole bunch of things in this package. Let's just pass either one of them at this point. On the political side, which sadly, you know, is really the only side that the corrupt political hacks Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Mitch McConnell actually care about. Nancy will refuse to do anything that could be considered as helping the president, which honestly in this case means adding so much fluff to the proposal it all but guarantees that McConnell and the other hardline Republicans will refuse to support it. The stupid thing is if you just remove the party politics from it, I believe that Trump would pretty much sign any stimulus bill and the higher the better because the more money that goes out to the people and gets pumped into this economy now, it only helps Trump for re-election. I am not naive to the fact that Nancy has added so much fluff and wasteful spending that it should not really be allowed or rewarded. But in the end, both parties have been wasting billions, no, trillions of US dollars every single year for decades on their own little pet projects. Would it be nice if we could fix DC both parties? Sure, that'd be great. But right now, getting the help that the American people need is far more important. And you know what? And unfortunately, the DC swamp, and I'm saying both parties here, understand that. And they will use it to their advantage to shovel all of their own wish list pork barrel spending into the plans because, in the end, nobody cares. Of course, the Senate Republicans will refuse entirely to support any stimulus over $1 trillion. So this is a bit of a fine line for President Trump to balance. How does he agree to a larger stimulus plan, which I believe he wants, while not alienating the fiscal conservative Republicans that he needs for his re-election. Historically, if the economy is doing well, an incumbent president usually wins the re-election. But 
that statistic may or may not fully apply here. This is a bizarre election time with the whole pandemic completely taking over people's consciousness and concern. All I can say is the people need stimulus and we need to reopen our economy in a safe but still timely manner. We cannot keep everything locked down indefinitely and just hope that the DC swamp will give us a few crumbs every once in a while. The problem is both Pelosi and McConnell, they refuse to do anything bipartisan. It is either do it my way or I'm going home and taking my toys with me. They act like spoiled little brat kids who need a good spanking and a timeout from the adults in the room. Overall, more stimulus is good for the economy, at least in the short term. Long term, well, that's kind of open for debate. What is not open for debate is doing nothing. Many small businesses across the country will go bankrupt. People will have no jobs, and in the end, only the rich will survive. We will have the ultra-rich and the ultra-poor. There'll be no more middle class. The possibility of a new stimulus package has caused the stock market to jump in the past few days. I hope you guys listened to me a week ago back on October 2nd when I told you to get your two free stocks from Weeble because if you had, you would have made a very nice profit by now. In fact, 23 people signed up using my link below and they received their two free stocks in the past few days. I cannot see what your names are, but I appreciate all of you as you help to support this channel. If you were one of those 23 people in the past couple days, why don't you comment down below and tell me what free stocks they gave you. If you haven't, it's not too late. Make sure you use the link in the description. Deposit $100 to get you two free stocks. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you click like and subscribe. Doing so really helps the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you tonight with another video. Thanks.